Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about Seagate expansion 1 terabytes external hard drive repairing and data recovery. This is the model number of the hard drive. It is on the back of the drive and it is a little bit too small to see. But this is the model number which is used to identify the hard drive to look for parts for repairing and data recovery. This is the USB 3.0 adapter for the hard drive. If this one damaged, the hard drive would not work. The solution is take the hard drive out put into another external hard drive case or hook the hard drive directly to the computer to see if the hard drive is still working. This is the PCB board from the hard drive. If this one damaged, the hard drive will not work. Solution, swap the PCB board. In the second half of this video, we are going to talk about how to support the board in detail. This is the hard drive inside of the external case. If this one damaged, the computer cannot access the data. Possible reasons to cause the problem is 1. The hard drive being dropped. 2. The hard drive being shocked. For example, keep the hard drive in the bag while traveling. 3. Overheat. 4. Disk wear out. Solution, data recovery. Maybe we consider to swap the read-write head or do data recovery on the damaged disks. This is uh, depending on the situation and what happened to the hard drive. Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about the Samsung hard drive controller board replacement. It covers the following issues. 1. How to find the correct donor board. 2. Why do we have to do the controller board form a transfer before swapping the board. 3. What is the controller board form a transfer? To fix a hard drive by replacing the controller board, including the following eight steps. 1. Make sure that the controller board is the problem. 2. Find the correct donor board. 3. Take off the bad board. 4. Ship the bad board. 5. Controller board firmware transfer. 6. Receive the donor board. 7. Put on the donor board. 8. Test the hard drive. Step 1. Make sure the controller board is the problem. Replacing the controller board only can fix the controller board problem. It will not fix the other hard drive problems. We listed most of the bad board symptoms in our website. Step 2. Also, this is the key. Find the correct donor board. We need to find the model number of the hard drive and the board number of the PCB board and the search in our website to find the correct donor board for the hard drive. The model number of the hard drive on the label on the front of the hard drive. For this model Samsung hard drive, the board number 
is on the board's component side. You have to unscrew and take off the board, then you can see the board number as the picture shows. The board number is the critical criteria to find the correct donor board. In other words, as long as these board number are same, the boards are same in hardware. After we find the correct donor board, then we can do firmware transfer to make a identical board for the hard drive. Step 3. Take off the bed board. We use Cross 25 screwdriver to work on this hard drive. Keep the screws in a safe place for later use. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, input the board number space and the model number, then click on search. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, input the board number and the model number of the hard drive, then click on search. Now, we find the board for this model hard drive. Please read the description part of this item and follow the instructions. Step 4. Shift the bed board to us. First, put the bed board in the bubble molder. Second, customs declaration as bed hard drive controller board, the value is $5. You need to fill a PCB board firmware transfer form. You can find the form in the description part of the item. This is how the clients ship their PCB board to us. First, they print out our shipping address on the envelope. Second, their mailing address. Third, print out the firmware transfer form and ship together with the PCB board. Fourth, if ship from outside of Canada, they fill a customs declaration form, declare the board as bad hardware controller board. The value is $5. Step 5. Controller Board Firmware Transfer, also called Controller Board BIOS Swap. It means to transfer the controller board firmware from one board to another board. Why do we have to do Controller Board Firmware Transfer for this model hard drive? Because this model hard drive, one controller board, includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the bad board to a good donor board. This picture illustrated how to do firmware transfer. On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board firmware transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. Regarding 
hard drive controller board firmware transfer, we have the following four things want to mention. First, we can do controller board firmware transfer from burned, physically damaged, watered controller boards because we work on the memory chip. So do not worry about how damaged your PCB board could be as long as we can read the data from the memory chip we can do firmware transfer from this board. Second, controller board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. Controller board firmware transfer is to copy the controller board firmware from one controller board to another controller board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's firmware. It nothing to do with the controller board. We do controller board firmware transfer for our clients for free. We offer free shipping to ship the donor controller board to our clients. Step 6. Receive the donor board. After we finished the firmware transfer, we use this professional box to mail the PCB board back to our clients. Step 7. Put on the donor board to the hard drive. After receiving the donor board, you need to put donor board onto the hard drive. And second, screw all the screws back to the PCB board to secure the PCB board to the hard drive. When you do it, please do it nice and gentle. Step 8. Test the hard drive. Put the repaired hard drive back to your computer to test it. If it works, congratulations, you fixed the hard drive. If the hard drive doesn't work, that means this hard drive got the problem beyond the PCB board. Inside the hard drive, there are two parts, spindle and the disks. If the spindle or disks got problem, the hard drive would not work as well. We carry all the brand name hard drive controller board, from the very old to the latest. If you cannot find the correct donor board for your hard drive, you may take pictures of the hard drive and both sides of the controller board. Email the pictures to us. We will find the correct donor board or the best solution for you. Our email address is hddparts at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.